Looks as though uh, there's a problem with that uh, sight screen down the far end. That was the one that well, looked as though it jammed. Now here's Wazi Makram to McGrath. Long consultation between overs, between Rifle and McGrath. Almost looks uh, an unfair contest. If it was a boxing match, uh, wouldn't be allowed to go on. McGrath v Wazi Makram. It's one moment of success at 93, but not much more after that. Yes, his average took a little jump um, when he made uh, his top score, which was nine. It was um, in his second innings, you can see there, just uh, blipped up there. And then slowly has sort of come down and leveled out. That average, 2.46. Steve War, who is uh, his coach, will be looking to get that... Uh, that white line to start moving up a little bit and uh, a bit of a cheer there for that one he's got it right in the middle of the back he's been working on that obviously well, he was in there behind it Makram still has the old ball there, but he's swinging it around. These good bowlers these days have the ability to, to bowl ordinary swing with the new ball and reverse swing with the old ball. This one's 98 overs old. Nice well played. There's uh, stories I was talking about uh, with Ben McGrath determined to improve his batting it's a sensible thing to do because number 11 could win you a match at some stage or save you one and Steve War has taken it on himself to work with McGrath they play in the same New South Wales side McGrath acknowledges quite sensibly that uh, he's not much of a batsman but if he can improve at all then it will be to the benefit of the team it's a very sensible sort of approach And that was a very interesting shot. He actually played that with the front edge of the bat. He was closing the face and it started to swing away from him. And uh, it was just a little bit lucky. Just watch this one. And watch how his, the face of his bat closes. And uh, it hits the front edge and goes away on the other side. very, very well played. 9 for 254.